Next is a speech entitled Feet by senior Michael Snively. Yet? You know, as a freshman, I always thought the speakers at graduation were godlike. They were mature, respected, and picked to address hundreds of people on this most important day of their lives thus far. Now it's my chance to carry the Sprague commencement speaking torch, and I just hope I don't drop it. In about 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, however long this happens to take, You'll be standing up and walking up to this stage. That walk will signify the last time you put one foot in front of the other as a student of this school. We've all taken hundreds of thousands of steps without ever thinking twice about them. But suddenly, the simple act of walking forward takes on a whole new meaning when you realize that it'll be the last time you ever do so as a student of this school. For the last four years, we've shaped the culture and identity of not just this school, but also ourselves. It took hard work and dedication, but here we are at the end, at last. Through all of our trials and tribulations in this turbulent, hormone-enriched high school, our feet and our shoes have remained constant. You know, you can tell a lot about a person by their feet. Male, female, jock, geek, emo, teacher, punk, nerd, skater. Our feet and our shoes represent who we are. Tennis shoes, light-up shoes, stilettos, rolly shoes, basketball shoes, boots, and even those weird rubber clogs with all the holes in them. <laughs> Think about the types of people you see wearing these different types of shoes. Our feet are us. Our feet display our emotions and our feelings, even more so than our words at times. Our feet were with us when we jumped up and down, cheering on our state champion Oles. They were there in math when we shoved them into that weird metal rack in the desk in front of us. They walked from a class in the pit up to the foreign language hall, before going back to the pit, and then having to go to a portable. Our feet screamed at us every time we entered the bathroom, squeaked us down the hall when it was raining, and have danced with us at every dance. Our feet saved our lives during every fire drill, doing their part to get our ears as far away from that alarm as possible. They rejoiced knowing that they would never have to trudge through more than a quarter inch of snow to get to school. They accelerated us towards our licenses and have jumped down those very bleachers where our proud family sit now. Their journey through high school was tough, there's no doubt. But even if you did drag your feet for four years, I want to sincerely congratulate you on your most recent and most important academic achievement. You have all passed your CRLS. the curls. It felt kind of like shoving a size 15 foot into a size 9 shoe. I think blue cardstock will forever hold a place in all of our hearts. That deep, dark, scary place. Luckily, though, we all had advisors that were willing to jump to our aid and help us by telling us to go to the crick and ask Carlotta for help. The checklist and rest of high school would not have been possible without plenty of help from teachers, parents, coaches, directors, and mentors. Thank you so much for forcing us out of bed, onto our feet, out the door, and into our brown and orange school. Thank you so much for broadening our horizons and teaching us things we never thought we'd know. And thank you so much for supporting us and telling us that we really can do anything. This journey we have finally completed was no small feat, so thank you for your help. So here we are now, all alike in our caps and gowns, quite attractive, as usual. We're a sea of brown in our nice, neat rows, very uniform. But all of us are different, and what I see here is a bunch of the same. So I ask you, take a look underneath your chairs. 
The only thing distinguishing all of us as individuals on this night are our shoes. Notice the shoes of each person that walks to this stage, because therein lie the true memories of your classmates, and that's who you are truly graduating with. Your feet are screaming who you are for the world to hear. Feet seemingly insignificant are reflective of all of our amazingly unique identities on this night of celebration. Congratulations, class of 2007. Your feet have carried you through these four years as unique individuals and will set you apart in the future, whatever 